With gasoline prices still hovering around $3 a gallon, the race is on to develop alternative fuel sources. One leg of that race is right here in the borderland where a special project has sprouted up. ABC 7's Daniel Marin explains, new at 10. They look like greenhouses in El Paso's Upper Valley, and in many ways they are. But you won't find roses growing inside, just bags and bags of algae. Believe it or not, all this green slime could just be the cure for the world's so-called pain at the pump. The algae is used to make biodiesel. As the slime grows, it makes a kind of vegetable oil. Just like you would find in sunflower seed or soybean. That oil can then be processed into fuel. We have fuel replacement opportunity here at the, at the right price. Doug Frater is the CEO of Global Green Solutions. Then gravity does the rest. The man guiding the tour is Glenn Kurtz, head of Valcent Products. They're calling their joint venture VertiGrow. And both say choosing the El Paso area for their site was a no-brainer. We had 340 plus days of beautiful sunshine here. Most of the people who work all the gadgets and gauges are homegrown from right here in the borderland. We have one of the best crews I've ever worked with in my life have come out of the El Paso area. Vertigro hopes to begin producing enough biodiesel to sell commercially by mid to late 2008. Daniel Marin, ABC7.